Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG, and this is the Insane Nightmare series. And uh, we have a lot of stuff to do um, and to make. And, uh, uh, yeah, looks like we have some damage here. <laughs> that shouldn't matter. We're not going to be here too much longer. Uh, we are on the verge of leaving this place for good, uh, except for maybe, you know, coming back for horde nights uh we won't you know I, it's not my intention at all for that to be our only horde base for this entire playthrough but we might need to use it you know one or two more times we'll just see how it goes anyway uh it, as you saw in the opening montage there uh i can now make the motorcycle so yeah um i went all over the place i spent the entire night let's see where were we we were up in the desert uh, here so I left you guys at Trader Bob, and I just went up this highway here and looted cars, thumped Zombadoodles, um, and went all the way up around into this north, uh, kind of more northeastern, or sorry, northwestern city. I found two Trader Hughes. There's a Trader Hugh there and a Trader Hugh somewhere else. Uh, I know I found two Trader Hughes. Where's the other one? I don't know. Um somewhere <laughs> uh I, that's the original trader hue that we found but i wasn't even over in this area i was over, over in this area and then i kind of circled around and came back this way so that's the first trader hue i ran into he has to have been in this town i just don't know why it's not marked on the map that's really weird or is he no uh his okay let's see his compound is a square and then his buildings kind of in the upper right corner with this little um, white area here so can we find that same design down here yeah uh, wait is that it yeah it's got a helicopter thing well that looks different though I don't know I could have sworn I came across two trader oh yeah here this is it I don't know why that one's not marked maybe I didn't get close enough to it um, so let's just um, also save this as Hugh. Okay. So, yeah. Um, the only the only pretty significant loot that we found was that blue ratchet, but I can already make a level two or three impact driver, so even that's as good as it is. You know, it wasn't that great. Um and then, of course, we found lots of different magazines, the most important being the vehicle magazines, as we as we saw there. So anyway, um, our main goal for to start with anyways is to make stuff, <laughs> starting with the motorcycle itself. So let's see. We're going to have to make the chassis and the handlebars. Uh, so let's get started with that first. So we'll track. Let's track the chassis. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have everything we need for this. Um, we're going to need... Wait, let's just grab all of the steel. We're going to need... We'll grab all the mechanicals, all of the duct tape. We have just the exact amount of duct tape for that, but we can always make more, too. Uh, we're going to need four electrical parts. Um, right here. And then some leather, which we'll find in here. And let's get the chassis going in this workbench, and then we can work on the handlebars in the other one. Let's track the handlebars. Okay, so we need 15 more duct tape. We're going to need a headlight. Uh, let's just grab all of the electricals. And I have 90 glue, so like I said, we're we're doing good, finally, uh, on glue and duct tape. Looks like I, I guess I already put my mini bike in here before I logged off last night. Uh, okay, so 15 duct tape. Let's make those. All right, we got the handlebars. Let's get those going. And then for the motorcycle proper, um, let's track that. We're going to need two wheels. We have 17. We're going to need an engine. And we're going to need a battery. And it doesn't matter what how good the battery is. Okay, so we're just waiting on uh, these to finish. While we're waiting on those things, uh, let's go ahead and look at what we need to make an impact driver. Actually, no, I want to make the, I want to make the steel pick next. We can make a level one auger. We learned motor tools, uh, on the road. 
I didn't show that in the montage, but uh, level one auger, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make this. So let's track this. And we only need one legendary part, and I've got uh, nine accumulated, so let's grab the legendary. We need six steel tool parts. We have five. Oh, seriously? Damn it, Jim. Um, do we get a steel tool part if we take this apart? We should, right? Yes, we do. Okay. That solves that issue. Um, I don't know what the impact driver is going to require. I know that the ratchets also require steel tool parts, but I mean, if we can't make the impact driver, we will use that blue ratchet. And then we're going to need 18 more duct tape. Of course we are. We need duct tape for damn near everything in this game. All right, let's get 18 more of these going. Uh, no, 18. There. Okay, good. So we have enough for the steel pickaxe. Uh, legendary. Let's craft that. Oh, that's going to be nice. That's going to be really nice. And then let's grab this, and we should have everything for the motorcycle, if I can spell. And that'll take two and a half minutes. Let's do it. Okay, now, while we're waiting for that stuff, what do we need to make an impact driver? We can make a yellow... Oh, yeah, we just need motor tool parts. That's lemon squeezy. I should have a decent amount of those. I have 16, in fact. Um, and this will be a yellow impact driver. A yellow impact driver is going to kick ass and take names. Um, so we're going to make it, and then, again, maybe we won't actually use it until we can make a purple one. <coughs> no, seriously. Uh, I'm actually going to need to rely upon some salvaging to get the gasoline for the motorcycle because I'm relatively low on gas. So, yeah, there's that. All right, this is taking a minute and 40. That's going to take a minute and 40, so it kind of doesn't matter which one we do. Let's just do it in here. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And then I guess we'll keep the uh, blue ratchet as a backup. Uh, let's take the mods off of here. And then, can I get steel tool parts if I scrap this? Uh, I can. You know what? I think I'm going to do that, actually. Because at some point, we're going to want to make a steel shovel as well. Unless we can find one and loot or something. Okay, we'll put that in there. Um. Alright, is there anything else that we can make? I'm. What level am I at on armor now? Uh, crafting armor... Let's just look at, let's say, like the miner. We're at green. And it's going to take four crafting kits. I'm I, I, I'm inclined to hold off a little bit longer until we can at least make blue, if not legendary, on that. Because, I mean, we're doing okay on armor. Everything that we're wearing is stuff that we've looted. And it's actually, you know, already almost all of it's blue anyway. Um, can I... Actually, though, maybe it would be a good idea to upgrade this. That's a carrying capacity armor. Hmm. At some point, I'm going to really take a good look at the armors and see which ones I like. Some people's opinions, from what I understand, is that the bonus sets that you get are not as effective as mixing and matching, and so you get, you know, so you get all of the functionality from each piece. I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't really looked into it for myself, but it's something to consider anyway. I don't know why I have two of those. Let's scrap that. Uh, we have, I mean, we have plenty of armor parts. How many parts does it take to make a kit? Take, oh, only one. Sewing kit and duct tape. Okay. So that's not that bad. But Again, I think I'm going to hold out until at least I can make blue before we get start getting real serious about armor. That is the plan at the moment. I'm going to actually let that water stay in there because I'm starting to have an abundance of water, which is a very nice problem to have. But, you know, um, I don't really want to increase the storage space here since we're going to be moving all of this stuff anyways. Uh, I was absolutely starving. I mean, my, my food bar was zero when I got back here. I don't know if you guys noticed that at all in the video, but uh, in the montage. But yeah, it was in bad shape food wise. But of course, we had plenty of food here to replenish all of that when we got back. So we're all good now. 
Uh, Alright, let's put those things back in there. We're, we're going to wait and see what we can do with the mods. Yeah, this is all of the gasoline I have left. And a motorcycle takes quite a bit more than mini bike does. Look at that. We have ourselves an epic steel pick, ladies and gentlemen. That is a friggin' awesome. Okay, how many mod slots? Four mod slots. Okay, we definitely want Iron Breaker, Bunker, and Durability. And yeah, we'll put the Grave Digger on too because the Grave Digger um, helps us if we hit like dirt or sand. I think it does. Anyways, it should. Well, it says dirt specifically. Uh, if I, what else would I put on there instead of that? I've got a bunch of Grave Diggers. Uh, we could put burning shaft on. That would give us more light when we're mining. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Maybe we'll do that. With my mining gear, I don't have any stamina issues, so I don't think we need to put the stamina thing. But this this will actually be helpful, you know, in the dark tunnels with the with the fire. So, yeah, I love it. So this does um, 185.8 block damage just all by itself, not in including whatever bonuses we would get, you know, like from the mining gear and all that sort of thing. So that's good. That is really good. Okay, motorcycle. You are done. I have waited for you for such a long time, motorcycle. All right, let's go ahead and put you uh, down here. And um, we'll fuel you up with as much gas as we have. Oh, did that completely fill you up? Oh, it did. Okay, that's, I guess... Maybe I'm thinking of the 4x. The 4x is atrocious <laughs> on gas. Now, the only mod that I'm aware of that I have for this is the turbo mod. Um, Because uh, we did find the, you know, or we got a re uh, reward from the trader or something for that. I can't remember exactly where we got it, but I know we have it. So if we go to turbo. Um, hello, turbo? Does that know what it's called? Uh... Turbo. Mo uh, okay, maybe it's called something else. All right, let's just look through the mods. I'll recognize it when I see it. It's this one. Oh, Supercharger. Sorry. My bad. Supercharger. Okay, so let's track that. And this is one mod that actually uses radiator straight up. Uh, we're going to need 10 pipes. We're going to need four mechanicals. And 10 steel. Okay. That'll take two minutes and 42 seconds. Does it tell us... Uh, it, does this use more fuel? The supercharger mod increases vehicle acceleration and top speed. It doesn't say that it does. That doesn't mean it doesn't, but it just doesn't say that it does. So I don't know. All right, as you saw in the montage, I found a level five machete. Um, and I, I like the knife better. I like the animation of the knife better, but there's no denying that the machete is just the superior weapon. I mean, look at how much more melee power attack damage and everything that it has. A little more stamina cost and, slow, and slower attack speed, but um, yeah. So we are going to um, move to you. And we have you, you. Oh, you've got five slots. Okay. I I guess I must have put. What does this do? That was below five. Okay, hold on. Let's see what else we have that we could maybe put on here. This this would make it, you know, uh, more durable. And. Uh, weighted mod might not be a bad idea because we already have a weighted mod on here. This is the one, the most important weapon to put a weighted mod on. This, what does this do? Tempered blade. Uh, why is that even on there? I guess it's on there because once again, I just needed to put it somewhere. Hold on. Grab you. Let's take all of these off of here. Modify. Okay, so uh, this increases block damage and lowers degradation. Okay, so this is a durability thing, too. Hmm. This, however, 
creates extra chance for bleed damage, I think. The thing is, those knives and machetes already cause bleed damage. So is there an advantage to having another one? 10% chance to cause a bleeding wound on a regular attack. But... Hmm. Here, let's look at this. Oh, we got a point, too. We go to agility and we go to deep cuts. So this means bladed weapons inflict up to three bleeding wounds on an enemy and a power attack inflicts two. So, I mean, it already has that. So I don't know that this gains us anything other than making the weapon, it's, you know, just the overall damage more, but this will do the same thing, but this will make the weapon more durable. So you guys let me know in the comments if you know, is there a real advantage to having a serrated blade on a weapon that already does bleed damage? I'm thinking probably not, but let me know if I'm wrong about that. Also, if we look at the, you know, if, if we add the tempered blade, right? So right now, um, that makes it do five damage and that makes it do five damage. So there's no difference there, right? Um, this, this would be good to have on here because we could hold on to the weapon if we're below 50% and will help heal us quicker. So we'll, we'll keep that. And then, you know, we could put a, a burning shaft to add extra burn, uh, structural brace will give it even more durability. I don't know if that stacks with that. I'm assuming that it probably does, but this will give us light better lighting and more damage. So let's go with that. Now, if we were going for a stealth build, um, you know, the flame may not be the best idea, but we're, you know, we're not, we're not doing stealth at all. We're just doing our thing. I don't know. Maybe the knockdown would actually be better though. Um, oh, never mind. You can't put that on there anyway. So it's a moot point. It is a moot point. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, we got those two mods there. Nothing going on in there. Is there anything else that I wanted to make? I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. Oh, we do need to mod this guy, though. Okay, you've got three slots. So what would we put on an impact driver? Uh, a structural brace will help it with durability if it'll let me do that. And um, it, if it lets me put a bunker in a grave, do we have an iron breaker uh, or ergonomic grip too? That could that could possibly work. I mean, weighted head mod just to give it more block damage. It's kind of silly, but let's just grab these two also. I don't I don't have an extra iron breaker, do I? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So let's modify this. Oh, I do have an iron breaker. Okay. So let's take that and let's take the structural brace. And I think the next thing that makes the most sense would be the ergonomic grip because this does use stamina. Okay. Yep. I think that's our best arrangement of mods for that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to look at too is if we if we take all those off this does 128 block damage that's the only thing that really matters uh, or it's i should say it's the main thing that matters with this so it's 128 that adds 11 that adds 22 and 33 so now it's up to 160 uh, 161 nice okay all right, let's do this. Um, what are you doing? You're still making more food. I think what I want to do is let's go, let's do a test on the motorcycle. So this is its normal speed without the supercharger, and yeah, it's still nice, very nice speed compared to the mini bike. Okay, now, if 
Uh, let's go into here. And this, it doesn't tell us how much speed this adds, does it? Okay, speed is 14 meters per second. If we add this, it doesn't change it. Hmm. The supercharger mod increases vehicle acceleration and top speed. But it's not reflecting those values here. So is that a bug? I don't know. Let's just see if we can tell. I, hmm. I don't know if I can really tell the difference, you guys. It seems about the same. I mean, it's fast. It's definitely fast, but... Whatever difference there may be there, I, I think it's pretty subtle. I don't, I don't, eh, I'm not noticing a huge difference. I guess what we could do is we could, we could time it. Let's do that just for the hell of it. Cause why the hell not? Right. Let's have some fun with this. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our, our front wheel. pretty much right with the edge of that yellow line. And we're going to go all the way to the end of the far, you know, into the street, basically. Okay. So this is like a drag strip. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my uh, stopwatch going on my phone here. Let's go. And stop. Okay, that was 9.83 uh, 9 seconds. Hopefully you guys can see that. 9.83 seconds. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. Wheel is pretty much lined up on the edge of that. Let's remove the mod. So 9.83 is our first lap. All right, here we go. And stop. Okay, 11.45, 11.45. So there, it, it's definitely faster by a little less than two seconds faster. So that, I mean, that that shows that it is indeed an improvement. I wouldn't call it a major improvement, but it's definitely an improvement. Okay, cool. It's just that, you know, it, it was very difficult for me to tell the difference. It felt like it was a little faster, but I couldn't say definitively. But now I can because we timed it, so... You know, and there's, there's going to be a little bit of margin for error in that, but I, I think it's enough of a difference to know that it is improving it. All right, good. So um, now what we need to do is we need a lot of gas for this thing. <laughs> um, and I, let's see, put that in there. Let's go see, what time is it? It's 1922. Do I have my money on me? Yeah. Let's go see if Rec happens to have... Any vehicle mods. I'd love to put the fuel saver on here and the reserve tank. Uh, so if he has those, that would be fantastic. If he doesn't, you know, then we'll just have to be on the lookout for them. And in the meantime, we're going to be guzzling gas like crazy. That's the way it goes, right? Did I empty this thing out? I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, no. Let's just sell all that shit to him, too. Well, hold on. Do we have more than three of any particular item? Uh, yeah. So... He's not going to buy more than three at the most. If he even buys that many. So we'll take the mod or the mod schematic. Either one's fine. Put away your weapon unless you'd like to die in my shop, my rules. You follow or you fuck off. Rude. Okay, so that's... um. He doesn't want these things here. So we'll try those later, maybe. 
Okay, let's look at mods. That's all he's got. Damn it, Jim. Damn it, wrecked. Uh, okay, what about... He's got three vehicle books. I mean, let's keep buying those because we want to get to the 4x4 eventually, right? Uh, robotic thingy mod. Let's look at his weapons just for the hell of it. Yeah, he doesn't have anything better than what we already have. And we have all of our due collector stuff that I want for now. Cha-ching! Thanks, buddy. No, fuck you. We know you don't really give a shit. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, we'll just have to... Um... You know, do the best we can until we can... Get mods. Of course, once we get fully moved to the desert, then we have oil shale easily available to us, and then gasoline just won't be that big of a deal anyway, you know? So, I mean, it, it does seem faster, but, and it is faster, but I just couldn't tell for sure without the timing. But yeah, it, it goes along pretty good. Okay, cool. Um, all right, let's see. I think what I'm going to do, it's getting close tonight. What day is it? It's going to be 46. Next horde's 49. So we have a few more days, a couple more days, but the horde base is all ready to go. It's all repaired. So we don't have to worry about that. Um... So I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to just go out and uh, salvage all night uh, for to get not only salvage stuff, but specifically to get gasoline. Excuse me, because I'd like to have at least a full stack of gasoline before we start our move in earnest. And there, our best bet, you know, our best way to get that at this point is to just salvage cars. And you know what? I, damn it, I should have checked wrecked for some salvage junkies or whatever the hell those are called. A hackers. Yeah, they're called hackers, but I didn't, so whatever. Alright, so Um Let's put you here. Keep those topped off. And I think I'm going to actually keep the money in here for, for now, too. I could have taken all of those down direct for selling, but didn't think about it, so we'll do it later. All right, guys. Well, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And I'm just going to go out, like I said, and salvage like crazy. And then the plan will be to start the move uh, tomorrow to the desert. But, like I said, we are going to use that whore base at least one more time. Can I make... Uh, the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to... See, I can't make the fucking generator bank. What uh, what governs that? Repair with fours. Does it tell us? Oh, oh, we're like two points away from that. Electrician. What gives us electrician? Electrician gives us electrician. <laughs> okay, two points away. So if we can come across two more of those magazines, then we could, uh, uh, we can do, you know, put some electric fences on the base for the next Horde Night. I don't even think it really needs it, to be honest with you, but if we can put them on there, why the hell not, right? What's our game stage? 128. Okay, so we probably won't see demolishers on the next Horde Night. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Like I said, I'm going to go out and just do a whole bunch of salvaging overnight, get a bunch of gasoline. In the morning, um, then we'll start loading up the motorcycle with our workstations and uh, moving them over. I think what we'll do with the workstations is we're just going to take them all down into the underground smelting area to start with until I get uh, everything moved over. We get through the next horde night and we can take and clear the Zuckerberg mansion, which I, you know, I'm pretty sure that's where we're going to live. Uh, and then we can start moving stuff over to the mansion. So that is the tentative plan. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.